What's up, everybody, and welcome back here for a special FD weekend upload here on Torque Drift. So, Torque Drift did give us a special update for this FD weekend. If you guys are excited for the final round of this 2019 Formula Drift season, let me know down in the comments who do you think is going to come home with the win? So, we did get a banger list of content Von Gittin Jr.'s custom Focus RS, Chelsea Denofa, and Von Gittin Jr.'s RTR. Ryan Turks come out GT4586, as well as the 1969 Mustang of Von Jr. We also got the stock RS Focus, which I did pick up. And we're going to be doing a full build on this, but that is not today's episode. Today's episode is all about that RTR and that GT4586 and the Irwindale Challenge that is here. So we have Cali Banks, we have FD Irwindale course now. It's a chase challenge on Chelsea Denofa, and then we have the GT4586 yard full track challenge as well. So we're going to start off at Cali Banks, and we're going to do the challenge, chase challenge of Chelsea Denofa. We get to pick between Von Gittin's Mustang, Chelsea's Mustang, and Von Gittin's old school Mustang. So we're going to rock the RTR of Von Gittin Jr. and try and chase down Chelsea Denofa. Definitely super excited that these cars are now in the game. So it's all about the FD stuff this weekend. So the RTR Mustang, definitely a big car, but definitely an amazing car. Throw it in third, initiate in, try and suck up to the door of Denofa. Denofa with a little bit of a door tap. So the Irwindale track, definitely a little bit different than what we're used to. So that was kind of thrown off a little bit there, but we're still kind of on his door not the best chase because we kind of lingered off and we kind of hit him when he uh did a little greasy wall tap so we did unfortunately not get the 4500 chase score that we needed to even get up there so we're going to take this one again i'm going to cancel that so the chase challenge definitely cool to see these rtrs in the in the game the new track with actually having fd irwindale now and the setup basically exactly how they're going to be running today Definitely super excited. Can't wait to watch it with my wife and my friends. Initiate in. I need to get some better acceleration on that initiation. So now, suck up to his door a little bit. And transition way late. So, definitely need to get used to how this RTR drives. A little bit better than last time, but not good. We need to probably start in first gear to accelerate faster. So if you guys have this and you guys have completed this challenge, how many times did it take you? Probably on the first try because I'm not having, a, not having a good chase time right now. But we're going to try and get this done. So who do you guys think are going to win the overall? Let me know down in the comment section down below. Are you guys watching it? So we're going to start in first gear this time. So maybe we need to use Chelsea's car against Chelsea to maybe better our chase. We definitely need to get up on the wall more and I think feel like the close calls is what we need to do. That is not what we need to do. So we're gonna try switching up to Chelsea's car. So Vaughn's car, definitely a, probably very similar to Chelsea's car, but it seems like Chelsea's car is getting a better excel on me. So we're gonna go Chelsea versus Chelsea here on this track and see what we can do with it. I feel like the cars are identical. But we are able to get up on the wall right there. Kind of gonna ease up a little bit. There we go. That's much better. That's where we needed to be. So we needed Chelsea's car apparently to, you know, get that chase challenge done. We did complete the full chase challenge right away with Chelsea's car. But we are going to bring out Vaughn's car as well because I'm very curious and we are not even on the leaderboard. So where are these guys getting on the leaderboard? It looks like we are up there in the 50s, 60s, 65 and 63. So we're going to try using Vaughn Gittin's 1969 Mustang and see if that one maybe will give us a little bit better of a chance. And then we're going to switch on to the GT4586. And see if we can't complete that challenge as well. Definitely a banger update bringing these cars into the game. Vaughn's Mustang. He 
oh my. So much more acceleration when it comes to getting up to speed. So we may want to give this one another shot because we we're able to keep right up to Chelsea's door. We're going to give that another shot. We're just going to restart it. Unfortunately, I kind of failed with that Mustang. So we did complete it. So now we're going to go to the yard because we're going to rock the GT4586 because we need to see if we can't get this 250,000 points. It's a very beautiful car. Ryan Turk's 4586. Definitely an amazing machine. Sounds a little bit off in the game, but. Shift in the fourth. Initiate in. Car's got a lot of rear grip, I'm noticing. Could be because of that giant spoiler. Try and. Oh, that's not what I want to do. We definitely cannot hit the wall if we need, if we want to complete this challenge. We need to probably complete the whole course in one sweep without hitting the wall and losing our clean lead. But we're going to finish this runoff and see where we sit at and kind of see how the car reacts. Fourth gear, definitely the gear to be in. It's definitely a fun car to drive. It's got a lot of rear grip. So, definitely need to adjust our driving style a little bit. But we did get a decent with smack into the wall. So now we're going to try again without smacking into the wall and see what we can do with it again for this episode. The update, definitely a big update at the Irwindale track. Super excited for this weekend and the event. We got a bunch of snacks and drinks and stuff like that. We'll be watching the 32 and 16. So if you guys are watching it as well, let me know down in the comments and who you think is going to win and who you want to win Irwindale as well as win the overall because the points are pretty close. Okay, that's a little bit better. We didn't smack the wall. I tried to take that one a little bit conservative. We didn't smack the wall. There we go. Much better. Stay on line. There we go. Now I think we're in the clear to pretty much be able to finish this out. As long as we don't hit the wall coming through this part. Still want to get these clips, a little bit of glitch, frame rate lag, and across the line with not 250, but still nonetheless a solid lead. I believe we'll get at least a 220 mark. Yeah, we'll get the 220. We can get the 250, so we're going to give it one more try and try and get a little bit closer to the walls and see if we can't get this 250 mark. Because this is definitely a very interesting car and it is very well suited in this game it feels pretty good fourth gear probably could change the gearing a little bit but unfortunately we can't so well you can't if you don't own the car initiate in flip it back try to get as close as we can to the walls we missed that clip though that's going to be a major major problem for missing that clip maybe we can make it up with running some walls hard flicks run the walls a little more trying to get as close as we can to these walls without horribly screwing up our line I'm not sure what type of points total this is going to be. Oh, that was not what we needed to do. We didn't need to lose all the grip on that last section because unfortunately that means we don't get as big of a clean lead. So we're going to give it one more shot here for today. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All of which are found in the description box below. Let me know what you guys are liking about the update. I know the gum out GT4586, definitely an amazing car. And glad to see it in the game as well as the RTRs. 
amazing cars and another big add-on to the game we're getting all these pro cars so it's definitely awesome to have this game supported by FD as well so we're gonna try this one final time we'll try and run as close to the wall as we can without hitting the wall I want to get closer and we all know my curse when I say I want to get closer to the walls what happens so we gotta prevent that we can drag the wing a little bit bit of an unorthodox transition Not as close to these walls as I'd like to be just a little graze hard on the handbrake to keep angle we missed two clips though and then we biff it into the wall so unfortunately I'm not going to be able to get it this time so we're going to definitely have to try and complete this challenge and we just sent it so as always I thank you guys for watching I'm Evil Rabbit I'll see you guys on the track